Hello, welcome to your fairy tale wedding show. I am your host, Claudia Chan. So your big day is coming up soon, and I'm sure everyone wants to remember the big day. And as the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. So today we have a very talented wedding photographer, Ryan from Luminous Wedding with us. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thanks so much for having me. It's so great to have you on here. Thank you so much for coming on. Would you be able to tell our viewers a little bit more about yourself and how you got into wedding photography? Yeah, for sure. I kind of fell into it like feet first. So I picked up a camera when I was 16 years old. I was at a summer camp and they just happened to have dark rooms there. And I fell in love with taking portraits. I was photographing everybody around me. And I came back and somebody in my family was one of actually the top wedding photographers in the city. Uh, not like a, a close member of my family, but somebody who, who I knew. And I had, whatever I had in me, I went and brought the photos and said, can I have a job? It's hard for me to imagine hiring a, a 16 year old assistant, but he did. And I'm very grateful because I've been doing it ever since. Exactly. Uh, so I started as an assistant uh, there and I worked there for about seven years and I started Luminous Weddings nine years ago. Wow, that is such a awesome story. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about your company, Luminous Weddings, and how is your company different from other wedding photography companies? For sure. So like I said, I started Luminous about nine years ago. And when I started it, we did just about everything, which most people do when they're starting out. I photographed babies, I photographed headshots. And what I found very quickly within the first year or two was that I loved weddings. It was the fi my favorite thing to photograph. It was the thing that people were most excited about having me for. And it was really where like my energy kind of came out. I love doing a thousand and one things in a day. And that's really what weddings are all about. Like in the morning, you're a product photographer, and then you're doing lifestyle stuff. And then you're doing posed editorial photos and family portraits and documentary. And so that's really what I love. And I think what separates us is that we really like understand how to allow people to like live through their emotions on the wedding day. So I think that wedding days can be stressful and we specialize. We typically do a lot of like pretty big weddings, weddings with a lot of things going on. It's very easy to get caught up in that. There's usually somebody who's like stressed. If the bride, usually, most of our brides tend to be chill. That's our like kind of common thread, but somebody else isn't. Uh, and so kind of allowing everybody in the family and the bridal party to just kind of like live out the day and to like experience things emotionally first, rather than feeling like, let's do this and then we have to do this and then we got to fit this in. So we kind of specialize in really taking control of that so that we'll handle you, we're gonna take care of you, you don't have to worry about that stuff. And mm -hmm. so you can, you can just like have those moments. So we'll kind of create moments with family so that like when a dad sees his daughter that's the bride for the first time in the morning it's not just walking past the doorway it's going to be kind of a more dramatic moment where like they're lit perfectly but we also kind of allow the moment to take over we're not posing we're not saying anything we're not getting in the way but we're bringing everybody together to like experience things in a really like honest and authentic way but captured beautifully and so we just try to weave that throughout the day. And I think that's kind of kind of what separates us is that we're, we're really focusing on creating authenticity. And, and, you know, we're still gonna get those post family photos. We're still gonna get everything you expect, but we also wanna get more. I think that more is what, what people really value about us. And I think it's um, really great to hear what you said about like, you're doing a little bit of everything throughout the wedding day. Like you're not just doing, um, family shots or you're just not just doing like poses so like it's within the photography industry there are a lot of different aspects of the day that you can do a lot of different things and definitely I love the non-stage photos that you take would you mind sharing with our viewers a few stories that like how do you create these special moments because I just love it like the story that you posted on your own website about the mother daughter and that's just like really captured my heart so it, it would be great if you can share a few stories about those moments yeah for sure the story i think you're referencing is even like kind of this was during the family portraits and i think it's really easy to be like next 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 in family portraits like this person and this person and it's boring like mm -hmm. you don't like most people in 2020 
don't want to look at 70 of the same photo just with different people in them. And while we're going to create those images because, you know, grandma might want those images. And to be honest, like yourself in 20 years might want those images. I think it's, it's really easy to be caught in the moment and only be looking for these super authentic things. But it's also when you think about these people aren't all going to be here when you're looking at your photos 30, 40, 50 years from now. So we do want images that just make everybody look gorgeous in the way that, you know, you remember them, but also to bring in that energy. So in uh, this particular photo, we were doing a photo with Bride and the two moms. And um, I just had them like stand a few feet back from her, which is something that like is weird. It's, it, it's, it's like they didn't know it was going to happen, but it's something that, you know, for groomsmen photos, we sometimes do. Uh, just to create that energy and kind of separation and a little bit more editorial. But then I had them just run up and just give her like too much love. And what happens is you allow people to do them, you know, to live in the moment, not to expect what's going to happen next. So they just squeezed her. And like so often when somebody's the bride, they're wearing this like gown and it's perfect. And you spent six months trying to find that gown and nobody really wants to like touch you. You know, you're kind of like this perfect princess. And so giving people like the, um, the opportunity and to just like squeeze her and just like give her love is, is something that sometimes like you need somebody to say, go do that. And then, you know, then we're all going to cry. So, yeah. Um, yeah. My eye. <laughs> yeah, it's like all these like material things that we tend to hang on to when we're doing the planning at the end of the, the day it really doesn't matter it's like that interaction that you end up having with your family and then you capture it on film and that's like moments that you are never going to forget right so that's really awesome that you're doing that is there any other stories that you would like to share I mean, one of my favorite things is always the first look. And I feel like there's this thing and I still, I'm always surprised that I still get phone calls where people are like, I don't know, should we do a first look? Because it's so practical to get the photos out of the way. There is that element that like, yeah, it's practical. It's really great to like, the wedding goes by so fast. And I think people don't often like think about missing out on the hour of cocktails mm -hmm. is probably one of the few hours where you're really just going to be like milling about and talking to people and like getting to say hi to everybody. So like missing that kind of sucks if you cannot miss that. Uh, and definitely there's like religious reasons and stuff as to why people for certain ceremonies are only going to see each other coming down the aisle. But when you get to do a first look, you get this really emotional moment where it's just, it can be just the two of you. It's usually we're, we're going to be somewhere, but like, we're, we're less nosy than, you know, a whole crowd of people. And so you get to actually be super present with your partner. And we kind of set it up so there's going to be some anticipation. And the moment just kind of takes over. And you get this private first look with, with your partner, which I think is really wonderful. There's one photo in my portfolio where she's coming down the stairs behind him. And he's literally just jumping in the air. He's like, he's so giddy with excitement that he's like this and he's jumping. Uh, and so that's like, I, that kind of reminds me of my first look with my wife. I was also, I think like that, there were stairs behind. She, I was just like bawling. Um, but then the great thing is that you also get that second first look coming down the aisle because it's still just as intense. That's that like private first look that's just about you two. And then you get that public first look where coming down the aisle and it's still incredibly emotionally intense because you are surrounded by everybody you love, you're surrounded by everybody you know, and there's this heightened drama to that as well. So you get both uh, and you get to like be together throughout the day, which I think is just like super important. I wouldn't want, I, I just, I wouldn't want to be without my partner for most of my wedding day. So yeah, that's that's one of my favorite. Like, um, I mean, we didn't have a first look because our situation was a little bit different, but I always watch these videos with first looks and it's such a private moment. They finally get to see each other. And it's so great to be able to capture that. Now, for, sure. for wedding couples who are actually looking for photographers, is there any tips or tricks that you would like to offer in regards to searching for someone that would be suitable for them? For sure. I think there's so many things to think about, but the first thing is, are you drawn to their photos? Because I think it's really easy to like 
people, when they're starting to do their research, we're looking at magazines, we're looking at articles, and we're like, oh, I want, I'm vintage, so I want a vintage photographer, or I'm, I love Vogue, so I should get an editorial photographer. But those words really don't mean a lot when it comes down to it. What you really want to find is somebody whose images resonate with you. If you're looking at the photos and you're not feeling something, then it doesn't matter how pretty they are. It's, it's not going to matter in the long run. And then once you find people whose images resonate with you and finding somebody who you want to spend the day with, because realistically, maybe other than your partner, we spend the most amount of time with you on your wedding day than anybody else which is kind of weird, but uh, it's true. I'm there, I'll be with a bride from eight or like nine in the morning until basically the reception starts. And by the time, you know, the, the reception starts, we're pretty much, we're, we're pulling back a bit more and just kind of capturing things, but we're a big part of it. And so you want somebody who resonates with you, who you want to spend time with, who makes you feel calm or energizes you. Like I'm very much somebody who is very laid back. I can make things happen when I need to, but I'm not going to like stress you out on your wedding day. But some people want somebody who's just going to bring the energy and like bring the party. And that's another photographer. That's not me. And so knowing what you want is super important, I think. And then going from there, really looking through full weddings, because I don't know if anybody, but pretty much anybody can create a portfolio of 20 images that look amazing. They might be not be able to make 20 photos that make you cry, but 20, 20 images that are, you know, going to be great is not that hard going through a full wedding album which would you know typically be around 100 photos and feeling like yes they told the story really well they told the story in the way that i want my wedding story to be told and the way that like i want to be you know if you imagine yourself on the couch with partner and like your kids or your cat or whoever is there in five or ten years on a rainy day looking at your wedding album you want to know that story is going to be told how you want it to be and so seeing how they do that throughout a full album is really important. And then if you have time, going through a full wedding is also helpful. You know, we're typically delivering about a thousand photos and um, we'll happily send a few links to, you know, a few different weddings. Do you get a sense of what that looks like? I'd say looking at the album is actually the most important thing because nobody is going to do anything with a thousand photos. The albums that you print are really, or the photos you print are really the photos that live. But, but I think it's well worth looking at. Since you have touched upon the um, photo album, why is the photo album important and how would the couple actually choose the photo album? For sure. So I'd say about 95% of our couples do get an album, um, mm -hmm. which is probably rare. I think that... Because you uh, have good stories. <laughs> Yeah, and we also, we believe in it, to be honest. Like, I believe that if you have a USB stick with your photos on them, you'll probably look at them every two or three years, uh, if. But if you have your album and it's sitting beside your, your sofa or on your coffee table, you'll look at it several times a year, and you'll also, you'll have it there when you need it. This is, like, something that I feel like people don't really talk about, but those photos are there for the days that you need them. And there's hard days in a marriage, there's hard days in your life, and one of my favorite things to do when it's a rough day is to look at my wedding album because it just brings you back. And I don't know that I would throw in a USB key and look at the thousand plus images and do that. So to me, the photos that you print are the ones that are going to live. They're the ones that you're going to show to people. They're the ones your kids are going to see. So yeah, we just think it's important. So we, we pretty much make sure that most of our couples have them. Yeah, for sure. A photo album is definitely there so that it's easy for you to pick up and just go through, especially on hard days when you have an argument with your spouse, then you know, it's like, why am I with this person? But then like when you see those photos again, it just brings back all those feelings and you just like bring back the why. And that's a great point to make. So do you have any advice for our couples? Anything that you would like to say to them? In terms of photography, you know, you want to plan your day the way that you, you want to see it. I think it's really easy to fall into like generic schedules of like, oh, we should spend an hour doing this and a half hour doing that. You really have to know what's important to you. And, you know, for some people having their wedding day as a photo shoot is important to them. And like that, we love it. We'll shoot forever. Most photographers are like that. Like I'm happy to shoot couples portraits for like three hours, but if that's not you, you don't need to do that. You can do a quick 20 minutes uh, and get amazing things if you have a great photographer. 
So just knowing what you want and what you value, if you just really want mainly candid photos and to have a few gorgeous portraits, then maybe you don't have to spend your whole day taking photos. You can mostly spend time having fun and doing stuff like that. But if you love taking photos, then, you know, I think most photographers are also going to be happy to like keep doing that with you. So, um, yeah. That's great advice that you just gave us. So our interview is coming to a close and I know you have a free gift to offer to our viewers. Would you be able to tell us a little bit more about your gift? Yeah, for sure. So after many years of not having this, we put together a engagement prep guide for our couples. So a lot of our couples choose to do an engagement session and there's, I feel like, people get stressed out about it. It's most people do not spend an hour and a half to two hours in front of the camera. They don't know what to bring. They want to like, some people are going to bring like 40 props and like balloons and like sparklers. And then some people are like going to come in like shorts and tivas. So uh, we just kind of laid out like what to think about. So like how to think about locations, you know, so often couples when I meet with them say like, where should we do our photos? And I can't answer that to be honest because it's really important for the photos be somewhere that is resonant to you. And so we're always trying to figure out like, you know, maybe it's not the local coffee shop because that's not, you know, your thing. Like we've done those in people's condos in their house, in front of their first house where they first met. But it could also just be like, we really love nature and where is great for that. So we've listed a lot of that out. So thinking about either per very personal shoot, like, at home or like hiking or an adventure. And then what should you wear? We give you a, a few kind of suggestions for that. And then what to bring, like bring some water. Like you, we're gonna be walking a lot, you wanna be hydrated. We just kind of give some tips for that. Mm -hmm. Talking about getting your makeup done ahead of time because you're, you're usually have like a makeup trial included. So it's a great opportunity to see that, but then also see how it's gonna photograph. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have a, a two page document that's gonna lead you through that and you can go into your engagement session knowing that you're fully prepared. Oh, that is such a wonderful gift. Thank you so much, Ryan. So that's it for today. Thank you, Ryan, for coming on to the interview with us again. It's so great to have you and get to know you a little bit more and learn so much about wedding photography. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me. Okay. Bye. Bye.